The Avatar may be the master of all four elements, but can he bend wood? I think not. So I will teach you to become a woodbender. It's, it's actually pretty simple. You just need to make a steam box. For this steam box design, all you're gonna need is like a four inch ABS pipe, end caps, spare dowels, some scrap wood, and some kind of source of steam. In the past, I've used an electric kettle, but for this one, I am using the Rockler Steam Bending Kit, which is super affordable, and you can get steam for like way more hours than just a kettle. Anyway, I made this easy peasy little fixture to help me drill all the holes for the dowels in roughly the same place along the tube. Um, it's probably not entirely necessary, but I did think it made it a little easier. Plus, it was an excuse to play with bad jump cuts, and that's the most important part of YouTube. I drilled an easy peasy little hole on each side so that the dowel could slide all the way through and then marked evenly spaced distances down the course of the tube and drilled those holes. Now the dowels are important because they're going to hold the pieces of wood up out of the condensation that's going to gather in the bottom of your steam box. Um, I used these like a little aluminum tubes that I had sitting around left over from the downwind faster than the wind cart last year, but honestly use whatever is easiest for you. I would actually maybe not recommend a tube because I had to be really careful not to make tiny little pressure chambers <laughs> in there. Anyway, I tacked them down with CA glue while I cut them and then I went in and epoxied all the ends. I then grabbed some really ancient scrap wood that was left behind by the previous user of this shop and cut out just little stands for them. Um, the important part here is that one of them has to be taller than the other because you want the steam box to be at a slight angle so that condensation can drip out. And then, you know, on the off chance that you put your work online because you're a YouTuber, you paint it a solid color so it looks a little less ridiculous in your footage. Next, I just installed all of the bits and bobs that will connect to the steam source, drilled my vent holes, and I was pretty much ready to go. My last task was to post on Twitter asking the general public to name my steam box. And that went about as you think it went. All right, it's been an hour and the Twitter poll has ended and obviously Steamy McSteam Box won. But second place was Steam Box Willy. And I think that's hilarious and also adorable. And because this is complete anarchy and there is no one here to physically stop me, like I am the only human on this property, uh, I think I'm gonna do Steambox Willy. I even printed him out. And I'm gonna stick him on. All right, Steambox Willy is done. Um, okay, so basically this is how it works. I load wood in down here. There's all these little dowels you can see. And those will keep the wood off of the puddle of water that's gonna form. It's built at a slant, so the condensed water will run down here where there's a little vent hole for it to come out. And then um, I have, this is the Rockler steam box kit. I did make one previously on this channel um, where I was using an electric water kettle. That works just fine. I just will have to refill this one less. And then to use it, just rip your boards to an appropriate length, get that box all steamy. Um, I use a grill thermometer and just wait for it to get to 212 degrees. And then let your wood steam for as long as you can. Um, I've never really encountered over steaming. I know it's it's possible you can get a little bit of wrinkling, but it's it's better to have your wood wrinkle than to crack, in my opinion. And then while the wood is still super hot and steamy, get it into your form and start bending. And there you go, you just learned how to make a steam box in less than five minutes. And just by the way, it is easier to do this with green wood, but that's not super available in California, so I'm doing it with kiln dried and it's, it's fine, you just have to let it steam a little longer.